I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Tuesday morning, the 30th of January, 2024, and this is your friend, Angus Bucket, with a thought for the day. We go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 35, and I am reading the last part of verse 10. And sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Isn't that beautiful? And then we go to the last book in the Bible, the book of Revelation, chapter 7, and I am reading verse 17. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Oh, what a promise. Are you taking a bit of strain at the moment this morning, my dear friend? Well, I've got good news for you. Just keep on going because home time is sooner and closer than we think. You know, I think of the trips I used to take up to the top of the Drakensberg Mountains, which are about an hour and a half's drive west of Shalom. They were exciting. We packed our rucksacks with all our food, our equipment, and we set off. I want to tell you, often I took groups of young men with me. The trip was hard. The trip was tough. Tough. The trip was very steep. When you start getting near the top, there's a lack of oxygen. You start battling to keep up. When you sleep at night, you sleep on hard ground, on rocks. There's no nice grass on the top of those mountains. You're eating dry rations. It's cold. It's windy. There's no sign of the summit in sight. And then when you're really losing hope and there are plenty tears flowing, you go around a corner and all of a sudden you arrive on the top of the mountain. Absolute joy and relief. We've made it. We got there. But I'm talking about the journey to heaven. That's exactly right. The highway which leads to heaven. And when you get to the top of that mountain, who is standing waiting for you? Arms outstretched. It's Jesus himself. He's walked that road. He knows exactly how you're feeling. You're hungry. You're tired. Your legs have been cut. Going through that rough, rocky trail all the way to the top. And he waits for you. And he embraces you. He pulls you into his ample bosom. And he hugs you tight. And then he takes a towel, a nice soft towel that's been tied around his waist. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, that's the same towel that dried the feet of the disciples. And he takes that towel and he wipes away all your tears and all the grime and the dust and the dirt. He wipes it off your face and he says to you, welcome home, my son, my daughter. In this place, there will be no more tears. There will be no more suffering. Come and enter into your rest. Jesus bless you and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.